Hi guys, how's it? In the name of Christ, how are you doing? It's your girl, Cranky, and yes, I have a hot water bottle underneath there because it's cold these days. It's getting cold these days. And uh, I should be grateful because I've been wanting autumn to come in because summer's been a little too much. Anyway, whatever. Uh, how are you doing? I hope you're good. I hope you're peachy. I hope you're Stella and I hope you're in a neat little bunch. Um, today is the 10th of April, 2024. <sighs> And it's a, it's a regular day, a strange day. I'm grateful to God that I am maintaining consistency with exercise, but now it's like this is getting too hot for my legs. <laughs> uh, yeah, maintaining consistency. Yeah, so far so good. Praise the Lord. Okie dokie, well, okay. Yeah, let me just put some caveats out there. Kindly please log out for my captions. They're not always accurate. Sometimes they use a small g for God. Sometimes they um misspelled all that jazz i apologize it's not what i'm planning to do one day in the future god willing i'll edit them uh yeah okay uh if like the rapture doesn't happen first and stuff then okay okay i'm makeup i'm very potentially wearing app makeup if i am you'll know if i'm not you'll also know and then i have a segment me and the segment yeah mm. Okay, let's just get it right over with in this moment. I'm only human after all. I've got like teary eyes. I'm only human after all. I'm only human after all. Mm, don't take a jab at me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Alrighty, boom. So I blush my cheeks. The whole intention there is to show you that when you prick me, I bleed. When you slap me, I go ouch. When you stab me, I die. In other words, like, I'm human. Okay, cool. Moving on. Yeah, because people just keep hurting me. Alrighty, guys. Um, oh, yo. I, I think I have some good news to deliver today. Remember, I come from, like, a hard knock spiritual war, a slump, and I wasn't sure when it's gonna end. This particular hard knock war, this particular slump. Yeah. Well, I have not been feeling, like, a track and a train and a bus all in one sitting for the past maybe like three days and i'm kind of like hoping that it's going to be maintained that way i feel as if the whatever it is that like lamp based at me recently is gone it took a minute longer than what is it what it is under you heaven usually i'm used to overcoming some problems but i feel like i conquered mm. uh the energy came back to me it was so hard remember i told you that clicking a mouse was like a loud gong it was like a gong it landed like go right one click because i was made so heavy to basically be lazy for work but i strove and it's written in cause with it resist the devil and he will flee from you i feel like the devil has fled from me because i am once and again restored to energy for for work yeah for the stuff i do i i and uh i don't feel like all overwhelmed and exasperated on the other side of it like i don't feel never mind on the other side of it but as i'm busy doing my actual edits i don't feel like Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> i told you guys that i love what i do oh crane cat why you gonna bother me one minute okay my cat is inside yeah i told you guys that i love what i do i don't I really like my job. I like I, I, it's my job. It's what I do. Like it's literally my job now. I don't have a nine to five anymore. I I do. I enjoy what I do. I enjoy the creative process. I really do enjoy looking for images online and scriptures, graphics. I like editing. I like splitting, cutting, chopping, all that jazz. Whatever comes with this particular thing that I do. Yeah, but like there was a time when I hate the smell of cigarettes. It's just I hate it so much. Anyway. Yeah, I, I really love what I do, but there was a time when I w it was onerous. It was onerous like no man's business. <laughs> I need to blow my nose. Okay, we blew the nose off camera because, you know, I think decorum matters these days. Okay, cool beans and bananas. Yeah, it was really very onerous uh, to do, but like, I don't consider what I do onerous, but it was because of spiritual war. And I'm past that hurdle, and I pray to the Lord that it doesn't come back again. Uh, whatever test it is that we endure as Christians, once we've passed them, the Lord does not endure us through them again. So I really hope I don't go through that again. Uh, in which case, it means that I'm going to go back to working with ease again. Uh, but the work is still a lot. It is still copious. It, it does still, you know, creep into the wee hours of the morning. But for that, I have made a decision to scale back. Yeah, uh, the Lord has been the one to tell me that, Karabo, you're panicking. And in your panic, you're you're basically spreading yourself thin. And on top of that, you're, you're, ex you're, you're 
uh, what is the word that I'm looking for? Leaving out your abandoning, you're neglecting, neglecting. That was the word I was looking for. You're neglecting exercise. Crankhead, what did you drop? I can't have you breaking any of my. I'm broke. One minute. Okay, it was tissue oil. It was not something that breaks. I had to go and check. Okay, righto. Well, it comes in a plastic bottle. Yes, I'll tone. Wee, I'm cold because of having gotten out of the sheets. Oh, anyway. Hopefully, I'll be recovered as I talk here. I am cold. I am cold. I'm cold. And yeah, okay. I Like, yeah, I need a, an electric blanket. I broke the... I didn't break it. It wear and tear. Anyway, whatever. That's another, like, proper irrelevant information. Uh... Where was I? Yes, I was speaking about how it is that yes, the Lord had told me that I'm panicking and so because of that I'm neglecting exercise and that the way that I was working was not sustainable because of the fact that it lacked balance. So I m have made a decision and it appears to be working out for me to exercise, basically drop whatever I'm doing every single day, whatever I'm in the middle of, drop it at the time when I have to exercise and exercise. And if it means reducing the number of shows I do, then reduce them. If it means uh, reducing the amount of time that I speak here, then reduce it because I can't just focus on ministry because then I'm going to completely throw myself away and it's working swimmingly. So have i reduced the number of shorts not really maybe yeah but like the shorts that lead people hopefully because i don't check my how my how i'm performing i don't okay that lead people to my long form content those are are easier to do than the ones where i i'm like chatting in the car and having to edit from scratch pretty much yeah they take less time because they are already edited like i, I edited the long video in like basically publishing the long video yeah so it already comes with silence detection it already comes with color correction it already comes with all that jazz so yeah all i need to do is just you know clip clip chip chop 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 find some stuff online blah blue yeah etc what a, what a fish paste so those are the ones that i can do really fast but i am trying to improve the quality of everything across the board because i'm starting to realize that the days of me suffering and being frozen are over so for those reasons it's worth it for me to invest in quality and if i invest in quality then maybe i won't have to do so much quantity uh so spending a, a little bit more time editing one short it appears to be working for me because i'm growing at the same rate uh that like in terms of my my numbers that like i check that once every week or two weeks right i i appear to be growing at the same rate even having reduced the number of shorts that i upload uh and i suspect that the reason why that is the case is because i have improved the quality of the shorts even though there's less of them that i'm putting out there and that helps a lot because it means that i'm finally gonna eat dinner on time it means that i'm finally gonna sleep on time and it also means that stress schmiss like no not anymore right well i mean stress will always be a thing but anyway you get my point i am reprieved guys i am entirely reprieved from whatever was slapping me i no longer feel an overwhelming sense of fatigue just wanting to like drop dead like i've got narcolepsy or whatever yeah i don't have that anymore where during the day i just feel like i gotta lie down for an for like a nap or not that is gone and i'm surprised that it's gone and i noticed that this thing is a thing about three days ago where it is that and it happened in the wee hours of the morning i was doing shorts and all of a sudden i felt energetic i felt like energetic i don't know like it happened like suddenly that morning i was in the middle of working and i did not even though the time was passing 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 and i was looking at it i wasn't feeling exasperated by the passage of time and by the time i went to bed i felt like i could do more mileage but i was like sleep got up i feel as if though that was me just breaking through because um all day long i'm praying in tongues underneath my breath uh, if i'm watching something on youtube i'm praying yeah etc so i think i broke past a point because of the fact that i'm always praying so it happened at that like funny hour in the morning while i was working and it has like the the overwhelming sense of exhaustion has not come back i've been waiting around for it skate uh, what is this um taking it out uh, like expecting it to come back and it's just it's not come back so i think it's time to just celebrate and thank god for <laughs> for setting me free from the hardest demonic attack that i have ever endured in my life altogether yeah in my tenure of course as a christian but just in my life it was terrible it was terrible i'm yawning right now because it's late and I do my videos at night and I should like probably maybe switch them over to during the day given that it's it's summer now winter sorry 
so it's not so hot this side so it's not going to heat up my device so that by the time i am done with my exercise i'm done with recording videos all that's left is editing i don't know we'll see what we do winter will probably make my life a lot easier a lot lot easier like a lot easier. goodness summer is boiling guys like well i can't deal and it's so summer summer has insects summer it's just yeah no i'm sorry i used to love rain i used to love murky weather i used to like li love uh what do you know um winter i'm oh, sorry yeah i used to to love murky what i'm trying to explain is that ever since in being entered into the situation my preferences of seasons have changed and while i do like spring and summer it, it's just too hot now i prefer winter but i i don't like the murk though i don't like the murk i don't like the darkness it's yeah but it's cooler for me it's natural aircon and winter will also probably make it better for me to exercise maybe even during the day using natural lighting and so improve the quality of my workout videos and so improve the quality of that particular side of life which is taking its merry time growing but that's where i find myself right now however summer was preferred because of the longer hours once upon a time back in the day and because i always had access to air conditioned rooms and i wasn't always out in the sun i liked summer because it was just a calmer time and the evening was nice because I was living in air-conditioned environments. And then I got entered into this hard knock persecution and summer became the bane of my existence. The sultry heat just became ridiculous. And like in insects too, like if I can't control it, I, it's like, yeah. Mm. But like we're finally in a season that works out with my conditions. I really pray that I'll be out of here in a year. I don't know. We'll see guys what happens, but I'm growing now. I'm finally growing. I'm finally growing. I don't want this video to be long i feel like i'm just giving updates at this point i have arrived at some place of reprieve finally i was looking at god on some but like why are you letting me just keep going through this i feel like it's safe now to report that i am at a, a respite i'm at a respite i'm at a respite i am some at, at some kind of a respite i don't know if i'm gonna get harassed again attacked again but what i just went through ooh, eh, eh, nothing compares nothing compares to it nothing compares nothing and i conquered single-handedly yo single-handedly i conquered i got out of it i don't feel like i'm free falling or rolling down a very steep mountain with there being nothing resisting that plunge I am officially good peoples for now. I don't know how long it's gonna last though because these people are ravenous for the souls of men. They are experimental. They are recalcitrant. They're stubborn. They are incontinent. They are impervious to reason. No matter how many times you keep on highlighting that the power of Jesus, there is none like it and you can't conquer him you cannot conquer a true disciple they like to call that as a bluff and so they just keep throwing spells over and over again one thing that i did dream about however that i just want to put out there which i find brazen and full of experimentation like kicking the last kicks of a, a dying horse yeah people from my past like some dude ish dudes two of them both of which I, I I knew them pretty much since primary school. One from Mayfair Convent far back then, and then the other from Winchester Ridge Primary. Yeah, they were both in my dream, just doing strange stuff. And one of them bachelored me with like 120 rand, like he was a boyfriend. And I was like, you're still doing spells, dude. You're still doing spells. You're still trying to get me hooting Joel and Like, how are you still doing that? And the two of them were hanging out with each other around me, appearing to be surveilling me, trying to get me to ultimately do something strange. All I can say is, hey, you're obviously watching my content, repent. Here it is that I've been recovered, okay? From, hey, I don't know where that stuff, it was from a myriad of witches. The recent attacks that I come from, the recent rabbi osh that I come from, if I could conquer that, ain't nothing else coming that's good well maybe it might get worse but i just don't see how it can get worse than that i come from a terrible terrible season irrespective of it i conquered and i fought you know on sunday i wanted to sleep all day and do nothing because i was still i was sunday evening that's when this thing broke past me that's when it, it, it like not evening like the wee hours of i guess what would be the tenement of monday um 
no saturday sorry what would be the tenor month of the wee hours of sunday morning was when I, I finally broke off this whole thing it left me okay and i wanted to because of how long it was lingering because of how long it was just going and going i ended up coming to a, some kind of a conclusion that maybe this is how life is going to be all the way up until i'm monetized until i'm free maybe they'll let me go then so i literally looked at god on some so i guess this is my new life now i'm gonna walk around like a log i'm gonna be tired i'm going to be working with difficulty until that place I was about, I, I, I had come to conclude that. So I want to be given how my body was feeling and me feeling like, but it's unsustainable. I wanted to sleep. I wanted to sleep the whole day. And I kept saying to myself, what would happen if I slept? What would happen? What would happen if I literally did nothing and just slept? But I, ch I decided not to. I decided to create shorts out of long form content. And later on, I would then go on right ahead to have this conversation that I generally have every single day. And then do three, uh, and then do shorts, three of them, edit them, them. Wait, as I'm chatting in the car, I made a decision to basically just work anyway. And that's when I broke through. So I was about to down tools and give up and capitulate to the spells on the last day of my journey. The last stretch. That was when I was going to give up, throw in the towel. I didn't. I just pushed, dragged my body through the mud. I pushed and I'm free. I came free. The Bible says that do not grow weary of doing good for in due season you will reap the peaceful fruit of righteousness if you do not give up. You will reap the peaceful fruit of righteousness if you don't give up. I didn't give up and I have reaped. I didn't give up and I have reaped. I have reaped peace, rest. I have reaped reprieve and now I'm growing my channel and I'm editing it at my leisure. I have reaped exercise. <laughs> I am not feeling so trashy and so out of it that I can uh, that I can't even hold a squat. I've gotten my exercise back and I I intend to maintain it. I have reaped the peaceful fruit of righteousness because I did not give up. It's about pushing even past a very hard knock hurdle, a very strong poignant feeling. That I, I guess that's why I had that dream, right? The one that caused me to do a whole two part series yesterday with the guy from Vitz that sent me some rapey spell yeah i had gone to that guy in my dream after making war with some other people from the past and i had won i had won and then i encountered him so immediately after that that's what i, I crashed into but whatever it is I, and i spoke about that yesterday whatever it is that that guy hit me with it is not affecting it's not affecting my strength or my energy levels it, it just breaks my heart that people can be that coercive, but that's all that that is. I appear to be able to work now. And the work that I've been pushing, despite the severity of hardship, I it, it appears to be paying off, yes, because my channels are growing. But I got invited twice um, to some, like, shorts community on on youtube it's an invite only thing you can't just join them they spot you basically like head hunting or whatever and if they think you're good at creating i guess shorts because it's a short community they send you an email and i got spotted by two such scouts yeah one of them has been hassling me like over and over again so i finally agreed to join their community i didn't want to because there's just persecution against the body of christ uh religious content why would you want me part of your thing because one day in the future you're going to turn your backs on me um type thing but i ended up draining them anyway uh awaiting approval but i basically got my god confirmed through that shorts community invite that the work that i do is good quality despite the amount of sorrow that i've been doing it in the the, the amount of resistance that i have been in in so doing it it's getting noticed to a point where i got invited to a community of shorts creators it would be great to get invited to a community of long-form content creators because that's what i'm really trying to get out because that's where all the meat is at that's where all the the girth is at but anyway and in terms of my long-form content i'm i just keep asking god why why doesn't anybody watch my stuff but it doesn't matter time okay i guess we'll have to wait but yeah these days if i'm tired it's only because it's the end of the day I, it's not because it's some like unnatural weird little demonically infused exhaustion it's organic and so because it's organic i appreciate it like right now i'm tired and i'm gonna like retire from this particular video in a minute do three shorts and eat dinner okay yeah because i've had a long day and yesterday i spoke a two-part video 
each part lasting over an hour, starting speaking after midnight. And so I finished talking at 3 a.m. And I was very upset at myself for that, but I could not put a break on that. I could not just basically rob of important context the message I had to deliver. So I allowed myself to speak well into the morning and I felt like, uh uh, this is wrong. That's why I want to move my long form content, this conversation to maybe the afternoon so that I, I, I it like, I just, I don't eat pa like Pac-Man into the wee hours of the morning. Cause that's just, I should I, not so much be asleep. Cause that will always be a thing with me. I will always fall asleep after midnight. That will always be a thing. Yeah. But like, I don't want to be working this i don't want to be creating content i want to be editing or maybe even just watching crime scene investigation on netflix i uh, i want it to be a leisurely last tale of the day yeah let me just use the, the other side of midnight for working and everything else must be relaxed so i don't know we'll see what we do uh, yeah and so uh, i ended up sleeping yesterday believe it or not because of trying to upload content using my very slow computer with the shorts and everything i ended up going to bed at three not three sorry at six in the morning i was very upset with that it was raining cats and dogs so i was grateful because you know the darkness outside and the rain and how cold it was made it feel like it was still night but i did not like sleeping at six in the morning i did not like that i can't sleep unless my content is uploading on youtube while i sleep i put my stuff on there and as i sleep at night that's what yeah so with the slowness of my computer i i was just up trying to get this this machine to just stop being so anyway whatever after getting off after getting off from like a two-hour conversation and so i'm tired because i did not want to sleep eight hours after falling asleep at six in the morning because then that would mean i wake up at 2 p.m I don't want to wake up at 2 p.m. So I I basically woke up before then. And so I haven't gotten all my hours. Plus, I mean, my body just feels the fact that, Karabo, what are you doing? Like, yeah. So I'm tired for those reasons. Like I said, my fatigue is organic. So today I'm going to have one short part. This is short for me. I've been speaking so far for 25 minutes. This is short. Y'all know I can labor for hours. Okay. Mm, time thing. I'm going to retire here with this conversation just having put it out there that i'm restored to exercise i don't feel overwhelmed by some strange tsunami of demonic attack while i'm exercising or even while i'm just walking around i no longer have inorganic fatigue at least for now and the energy to do the work that i do that i absolutely love is back to me but i am going to scale back on how much content i produce because i've got to focus on my fitness I have to focus on the other side of my future because at the end of the day, I am really trying to monetize something that is not a truth channel so that I don't get persecuted, demonetized, deplatformed in the future after getting used to monetization. And right now, my ministry appears to be the first place where I'm probably going to get monetized and it's, it's not sustainable. It is not sustainable because people are always persecuting the church. I need to grow a fitness channel i need to grow it and i need to innovate around it i need to try and find a way to successfully grow a fitness channel and i, I will not prosper to do that when i am putting all my eggs basically in the basket of ministry so i guess that's the feedback that i wanted to give you guys i'm prayerful to the lord to give me ideas for fitness because ha oh, goodness gracious it it's growing so slowly because my quality is horrific. Like my ministry, I'm talking. So it doesn't really matter what quality video I have. Because the information is what's important. But with something like fitness, like literally the definition of your camera. And yeah, your edits, they go a long way to getting people to subscribe to you. Because there's so many people doing the same thing. So I need to find a, a, a way to draw people to me. Because now I'm pretty sure that I'm not being blocked by witchcraft or by suffering. Oh, by God, making a decision that not yet. I'm pretty sure I've arrived at my breakthrough. I just need to find a way. I need to find a way. I need to find a way to grow fitness. I do. I, I have a way. Yeah. There is a niche of women that can benefit from my fitness. I'm pretty sure of it. Because it's like, you know, regular women, not hard knock. And there's they, they've got problems with life issues 
and I feel like I'm an inspiration in that regard. And the way that I exercise is, I, th I don't know, I think it's just, it's just beneficial, it's fun, and it's it, it speaks to a woman that is recovering from a lot of pain and sorrow, and then also gains her body with it, and confidence, and all that jazz. Yeah, that's like my niche, that's my, that's the whole value proposition over there. And I, yeah, starting somewhere, starting at the very bottom and then just building and building and building and improving with time. There is a market <laughs> for that. I know there is a market for that. I know there is a market for regular Janes like me that aren't exactly triathletes, but who stand to gain strength, stamina, confidence, and a couple of dress sizes reduction with also a maintenance of godliness because of the fact that they're Christian, there has got to be a market for women who are not, like, fitness is just so carnal in this world. That's what I'm getting at. It's carnal. It's naked. It's, it's crass. It's just too much. It's what your husband should be seeing in the bedroom. It's everybody seeing every last muscle definition of your glutes to prove to people that you are fit. I feel like there is a market of people that don't want all their business aired like that, but who want to actually improve their physical health. Basically modesty, okay? Like there's just not, there's only one woman on YouTube that I have found that is Christian, that has a fitness channel that she covers up and she works out in a way that does not dishonor God. Yeah. I mean, the fact that there's just one such person, for me, it's like, I'm onto something, okay? But like, I need to find a way to market it, I don't know. It's been rough, but I'm going to figure it out, because God is God. And the Lord is the one that gives me everything I need in order to live a life in godliness, so he'll award me understanding, and when he does, I will of course come back and testify. That's what's good. Alrighty, I've spoken enough. Half an hour. We are going to seal this particular deal at this juncture. Uh, I rambled today. I did not wrap on too much. I did not exposit much. I did not essentially just talk a lot about a whole bunch of sorrow, sadness, and witchcraft as I usually do. Uh, every so often, a person has to take a break from such discussions as those. Look at how much my hair has grown from my nape that was eaten away like rodents that's what's good thanks to the dooku and my little strategy is actually working to grow back my nape hair so you see i got so many things that i can help people with i just need to find a way to make that into a business idea because after all ain't nobody got a nine to five in these streets like ain't nobody I don't have money and I need to start making it. Okay, cool. I hope you've been edified in the name of Jesus Christ. Crank case signing out. Peace.